Hello everyone. Are you planning to join LNT Technology Services? But do you know where you will be placed in the long chain of command of the company? Today in this vlog, we will learn about the technical hierarchy and workings of the LNT company. Let's begin with a short intro to the company. LNT refers to Larsen and Tubro, the name of the two Danish engineers who founded the company in 1938 in Mumbai, India. LNT is one of the fastest growing multinational companies that is based in India. To be precise, it is a multinational conglomerate that does business in engineering, construction, manufacturing, technology and financial services. LNT Technology Services operates as a subsidiary of the conglomerate Larsen in Tubro. It is an engineering services company based in Vadodara, Gujarat and has an employee strength of more than 19,000 as per 2020 statistics. Coming back to the crux that is the technical hierarchy, there is no defined band system. However, the designations are named as LTTS1 to LTTS10. Here is how it goes. If you are joining the company with a diploma in computer engineering, then you will be hired as an associate engineer or LTTS1. You will be assisting the engineers and senior engineers in their work, thereby learning and adapting to the working environment of the company. If you are applying for the technical position after completing your four years computer engineering degree, that is if you are a graduate, then you will be hired directly as an engineer or LTTS2. Else, after serving as an associate engineer for one or two years, you will be promoted as an engineer. Here, you will be able to take part in the tasks of the project and you should report your performance to the senior engineer regularly. The next step in the hierarchy structure is LTTS3 or a senior engineer. As a senior engineer, you will have major roles and tasks in the whole project. And you are also responsible to oversee other engineers and guide them in their process. Normally, an engineer will be promoted to a senior software engineer in two to three years. After gathering enough experience, you will be promoted as a project lead or LTTS4. A project lead is the one who leads the group of engineers, including the senior engineer. He or she is responsible to report the development or project status to the project manager regularly. So, obviously, the next step in the ladder is a project manager or LTTS5. A project manager is the one who is responsible for the whole project. He or she is the one who plans, designs, foresees the cost or expenses of the project and also gives the final approval to the product after testing and fixing the errors. After garnering enough knowledge and experience as a project manager, you are ready to take the challenge as a program manager or LTTS6. The program manager is also called the group project manager. When the development program is large enough, the whole process is divided into multiple projects and assigned to each project manager. A program manager is the one to whom all the team leads or project managers report. As a seasoned program manager, you are ready to take the role of a delivery manager or LTTS7. A delivery manager communicates with the multiple clients on behalf of the delivery head and supervises the software delivery process, reports it to the senior delivery manager. He or she assigns the project and due date for each assignment given to the project managers. The next step in the progression is a senior delivery manager or LTTS 8. A senior delivery manager also meets different clients and makes the deals according to customer satisfaction. He also takes the finished product to the delivery head for delivery approval to the client. As a senior delivery manager, 
you should have good communication and cooperative skills to make deals and contracts after all these years of seasoning and hard work one deserves the position of a delivery head or lttts 9 A delivery head is like the final approver. Once he approves, the product will be delivered to the client. He or she should have advanced technical knowledge to ensure the complete safety and efficiency of the product. The foremost position in the technical hierarchy is a director or LTTS ten. A director is more management oriented. He or she is like a department head who only oversees the overall performance of the technical department. The technical positions of the company ends here, but the normal corporate hierarchy extends to LTTS 14, which is up to CEO. So this is how the complete hierarchy system looks like in L&T Technology Services. Please note that the organizational structure explained here is based on the best of our knowledge and understanding. However, there can be variations and changes with the changing dynamics in the company with time. If you are preparing for your next job interview or joining L&T in a short while, then all the best wishes. I hope you must have gone through the other vlogs in the series. Many more are coming soon. So please don't forget to like share and subscribe to keep yourself updated with the upcoming videos